So I'm going to jump back in here and I'm going to uh, start talking about how to set up a domain. Yesterday in your assignment number one or day number one, part of it was how to set up a domain. And I will admit it's a little tough setting up these domains. It's a little, little hairy. I've had some troubles with it, but I've also been able to set up like four different domains so far. So let's take a look at how this can be done. Now for me, I use GoDaddy for being for purchasing all my domains they are my domain registrar of choice and that's only because i've been using them for probably 20 years and i've always done it there and i'm comfortable with them and i know how to use them name cheap or anything else you want to use is just fine as well and i just want to clarify one thing before we go any further There's a lot of peeps, people will say that godaddy or namecheap or something like that are your domain or your, um, what am I thinking here? Yeah, your domain host. They're not your host. They're a domain registrar. You do not need a host or a hosting account or anything like that when you're using ClickFunnels because ClickFunnels is your host. They host your site on their servers. So think of WordPress. If you were working in WordPress ever, you did have to have a dedicated host at that point because when you download WordPress, you download all the files, you need to store them somewhere and run it from somewhere. Plus you need somewhere for the SQL database that goes along with WordPress. So you need that there. With ClickFunnels, they do the hosting for you. So in this case here, GoDaddy is my domain registrar, not my domain host or a host of any type. So we're going to come in here. We're going to come down here to dom domains. And then we're going to connect an existing domain. Now, Russell in his video showed if you buy a domain through ClickFunnels, it's basically click, click, and you get it all done. But a lot of people are going to be bringing in domains that they've been using for years in other places. And so I'm going to show you how to set that up. Again, GoDaddy through Cloudflare. That's how I set all my stuff up. I've always set up all my domains that way. I think it's the best way to do it. But it may cause us to have a few more clicks along the way. So we're going to connect an existing domain. And in this case here, the domain I want to use is right here. It's one of the few that I have left. I'm going to actually let this one expire at some point. You know, you just buy domains because you think you need them for some reason. Uh, so we're going to put that in there. And then it says right here, we need to put in with a subdomain. So as of right now, ClickFunnels requires that you use a subdomain. You can't use the root domain directly. You have to use a subdomain. So now most people would say, okay, well, what's a subdomain? Well, one subdomain is www, World Wide Web, is a subdomain. So anything before that first period is a subdomain. So we can put in there instead, we could put in hub if we wanted to, or we could put in blog, or you could put in bob, whatever you want to put in there, any combination of letters, essentially letters, and you can use dashes as well, that can go in there as your subdomain, okay? So let's just say we're going to make this blog.cfninjahackersinnercircle.com. That's what we're going to do. But now we're going to leave this alone at this point because what we want to do is we want to come into our GoDaddy account, and I've already navigated to where I can work on the DNS. So you can come in here, and uh, so in, in yours, Namecheap, wherever you're at, is going to look different. So just navigate to wherever it is you can manage your DNS. So that's where we are right here. And so we're going to open that up. And in here, you're going to see basically this kind of stuff here. You're going to have some A records, NS, C name, SOA. You could have MX, SRV, TXT. All kinds of stuff could be in here potentially. Okay, well, we don't want to use this. We don't want to use what is now here in GoDaddy. We want to actually just point our domain at GoDaddy. We want to point it over to Cloudflare. So we're going to scroll down here to where it says name servers, and we're going to say we want to change our name servers. Again, yours will look different, act different, and I want to enter my own name servers. Okay. Now we're going to go over to our Cloudflare account. And if you don't have a Cloudflare account, just create a new Cloudflare account and then click on 
ad site either here or there's going to be a little box about right here on the page if you are just first coming in and you're going to say we want to add a new site and so i put in my root domain so here we don't want the blog in front of it we don't want the subdomain in front of it we just want the root domain itself and then we're going to click on add site then we're going to come down here to the bottom we're going to click on this because we want a free account i've never paid a dime to Cloudflare. I've probably run a hundred domains through them over the years. And now what it did is it went out, reached out to GoDaddy and it said, okay, GoDaddy, give us what was on the screen here before those records. But it only pulls in the ones that it thinks it needs to pull in. And sometimes it even pulls in too many, pulls in ones that it doesn't really need. So what we're going to do is actually in this case here, we can delete out all three of these, but in general, you do not want to take out anything except the A records because let's say you're running your email through it or something like that. You're going to have MX records and TXT and other things down here at the bottom, but you do have to get rid of all of the A records. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to delete out this A record right here. And now we also have www.pointing at cfninjahackersinnercircle.com that one we can probably leave that one should probably be okay because if somebody were to type in triple w we want them going somewhere else now in this case here realistically we want them going to blog dot the root domain but i think we're going to leave this alone because we're also going to have to say we want the root domain pointing at the blog subdomain so we're just going to click on continue here so that one should be okay. So we're going to click to copy and we're going to come up here and we're just going to paste these in right there. And after you do this enough times, it will actually start to populate for you on your computer. And the reason why is because for each individual account, you will always have exactly the same name servers that you need to put into your domain registrar. So we got this here. We're going to say, yes, we want to consent to this and we're going to continue. Now, at this point along the way, somebody's probably saying to themselves, oh my God, I just screwed up my GoDaddy account. I just screwed up my Namecheap account. I'm never going to be able to get back there. Oh, woe is me. And the truth is you can. It's very, very simple. If I want to now disconnect this domain from Cloudflare and set it back to all of its original settings like we had five minutes ago, we just come in here and we say change. And we say here, I want to use GoDaddy default name servers. Now, different registrars might look different, may have different functionality, but I would hope that in today's day and age, you can easily come in here and say, nope, revert everything back and just leave it at GoDaddy. So we're not going to change that now because we need this to actually work. And we have this here. Now we're going to say done, check our name servers. And then we're going to go through this little checklist. And here, basically, you want to turn everything on. So we got our automatic HTTPS rewrites because we want to force anybody who comes here to the secured page, the one with the SSL, the secure socket layer. We want to send everybody to that. And so we're going to say, like I said, we're going to turn everything on and then we're going to get to our minification and we want to say, click, click, click on that. And what this does is minification is it goes into the JavaScript, the CSS and the HTML and it strips out everything the computer does not need. So for us humans, as we're writing code, we put in spaces, we put in carriage returns, we put in comments. Well, the computer doesn't need that to read it. So it strips out that human stuff that it doesn't need. And then it makes the site load faster. And then the same thing here with Brotly, it compresses the file. So it, <clears throat> so excuse me, so it loads faster again. So we got we got uh, the HTTP that's being forced. We got speeding up things. We got minification. Also, Cloudflare is a CDN, a content delivery network. So it actually mirrors your content around the world so it can get picked up faster by the search engines. Um, and then we can also, if you're having a DDoS, a d dedicated denial of service, you can come up here and you can click on this. So there's somebody out there who doesn't like you for some reason, and they're sending a bunch of bots at your site and they're attacking you. Well, you can quickly come in here, click this, 
and it will, I don't know exactly what it does, but it's supposed to be, it's supposed to protect your site. I think basically it probably, you know, essentially takes it off the internet. Uh, so these bots can't find it anymore for a while until, until whatever happens. I don't know at that point if they have a service then to help you, um, you know, stop that kind of an attack. So now let's go back to our DNS. And let's just take a look at what we got. So we have these two C name records that we got pulled in from GoDaddy. And we see here that our Cloudflare name servers are here as well. And actually, if we go back to our overview page, it should say here, uh, let me see, complete your login to your registrar account, replace this. Okay, we already did all these things. So let me check the name servers. Okay. Normally, if you come right back in here to the overview, it usually says... Congratulations, you got it, because we should have connected the two of them at this point. So let's just see what's going on here. Huh. Okay, pro tips. Hmm. Okay, normally it should be done at this point. But, you know, that's the problem with going live and doing stuff like this. So now let's come back here. So this is set, and this is set. So, all right, let's move forward then. Where is what I'm looking at here? So here we got... Um, blog.cfninjahackersinnercircle.com. So let's click on continue. And let me see here, uh, register with unknown or unknown. Okay, so now it can't find this. And it's probably because we have not set that in our records yet. But we're just going to click on add domain and see what happens here. Every time I come in here, this seems to work a little bit differently. Okay, so one of the things it says here we want to do is we want to point the root domain at the subdomain. And that's what this supposedly does. But I can tell you right now, it doesn't work. Um, at least not when you're putting stuff into Cloudflare. It doesn't work. And so I will show you how we fix that. In fact, before we do that, let's just go in here and let's do it on our own. So we need to point our root domain at the blog. So let's come into our DNS. So we're going to create a C name record and we're going to point our root domain at B L O G. That's all you have to do there. And we will turn off the proxy. And so then we have that set up as well. And let me see here. Now we're getting a C name record is invalid. All right. What am I doing wrong here? Um, point the root at the, well, maybe I got to put in, I didn't think I had to put this in, but let's try it. And we'll click on save. All right, there you go. I really honestly didn't think I had to put that in there. All right, so we got the root domain pointing to the blog. Here we got our triple W pointing to our root domain. Here we got the root domain pointing to the blog. Now here's the truth. We should probably edit this one here. Just so if somebody types in www, they will get there as well. So we will just put in blog right there. And let's turn that proxy off. And let's save this. Let's see what we get. Okay. And now the truth is, I know I can delete this one. So I'm just going to delete that out of there. Don't ever delete anything out that you don't know absolutely for sure you can delete out. So let's come back in here. Let's move this over. So now what we're going to do is we're kind of stuck here at this point here because by say start domain setup again, let's see what we're going to get. It's giving me absolutely nothing. Won't even reload the page. Let me just reload the page and see what happens. And I'm getting, all right, is it going to work? Okay, so we're getting nothing. And this is what I've been finding more often than not is we have to do the manual setup. So you just click there because the thing we need to do at this point is we need to give it this verification record. So we're going to create a text record and we're going to point the root domain. Whenever you see an at sign, that means that's the root domain. We're going to point it at this information right here, which is what will verify this site. So we're going to come back over here. We're going to add a record and we're going to say, let's put in our text record. I'm going to put in our at sign and it says right down here, use at for root. And then we're going to paste that in and we are going to save that again. Okay, so we got that saved. Now let's come back over here and now let's refresh the information. And at this point, now if we click on this, hopefully 
we will see the next step and we're not seeing that yet. So we're going to check our manual setup and we are able to connect to your name and may still be propagating. Please try again later. Okay. I'm on a live. I can't check later. So let's keep doing this here for a minute because, okay, here we go. Validate ownership. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Now it says here it's going to start saying we're going to be setting up your SSL certificate. So we're moving along. Now we also have a couple more things, and this is what I was looking for. So we need to create, we're going to go down here to the bottom first. Let's uh, create another CNAME record, and we're going to point blog at this, uh, this domain right here. So we'll copy that, and now we're going to add a record. And we're going to go C name and we're going to say blog and we're going to point it right there. And we're going to turn off that proxy again and we are going to hit save. Now, does it tell you somewhere in the instructions here to turn off the proxy? And the answer is no. But what I found is you have to turn off the proxies on all of these. Why? Not exactly sure, but that's the way it has to work. So now what we're saying here is if somebody types in triple W send them to blog dot the, the domain. If they type in the domain, send them to the blog subdomain. And then at the blog subdomain level, you want to send them to click funnels. So what we've essentially done here is we took a domain that was registered at GoDaddy. We pointed it over to Cloudflare. And then from Cloudflare, we pointed over to click funnels is what we did, including we pointed over um, the www and the root all to go to the blog subdomain. And then we have this last one we want to put in here. So we need one more text record. Let's do this text record. And we'll put that information down here at the bottom. That's the content. And then this first bit right here, we will copy that. And we will put that in as the name right there. And then we will save this. Now I have one, two, three, four, five records here. Now you need to have at least the four records. So you need to have these two text records. One of them is the root domain pointing to the verification. So we have to do that in order to verify that we are, have ownership of that domain. And then we have this other one up here, which has got a bunch of gobbledygook. So you don't need to know what that means. So you got these two text records. Then you have to have the subdomain pointing to click funnels, and you have to have the root domain pointing to the blog subdomain. And because we had this bonus record here of the triple W, I just said, okay, belt and suspenders, let's point the triple W to the blog subdomain as well. And so we have everything should be set up properly in there. And now let's come back and let's refresh this. And if everything's working right, and I found that generally speaking, it doesn't work right, even though I did get it to work right yesterday, if it's working right, all three of these, there we go. All right, so cool, they must have fixed that. All three of these are now black, and so we know that they're all set up. There's no more warning messages, nothing else. And now we got our SSL certificate being set up. Now, in the past, I have had that SSL certificate turn around in 10 or 20 minutes. But right now, there are so many people signing up for sites. There are so many people trying to put in domains. I don't really know what the process is for setting up the SSL, but I found last night, I was doing one late afternoon, and my internet was being really sketchy. And so then I went to the gym, and when I came home, I was just like, I'm not going to touch my computer. I've had enough frustration for the day with, with it not working right. Got up this morning about 7 o'clock. I looked, and at that point, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, I looked, and it was set up. So maybe 12 hours, maybe 14 hours at the absolute most. That was the last time since I had looked at it. And so in that time, it got set up perfectly. So now let's just click back out of here for a second. And so these two here I actually set up yesterday. And let me see here. So added, so 4 or 5 o'clock. So then, like I said, the next morning it was done. How long is it going to take this one? I mean, who knows? A um, couple hours, a couple minutes, 12 hours, 24 hours. It says up to 48, but I have certainly good evidence that it has been getting done in a reasonable amount of time. So at this point here, you could go and connect this 
to your hub. You could connect this to a um, any. Well, I, actually, at this point here, I think you can only connect it to your hub, and then it will be the same domain or the same subdomain for everything inside of here at this point. I do believe, don't quote me on this, I do believe they will get to the point where funnels will have their individual domains as well. And, and who knows what else? Again, we're in the infancy here. We're in beta. This thing has technically been released to the public for two days. And so I'm just thankful that it is uh, working as well as it is working. So that is all I have for today. If you ever have any questions, just feel free to reach out to me. And until next time, y'all have a great day.